Welcome to a world where solitude reigns supreme and human footprints are a rarity. Locales so remote. Some are only accessible by boat or helicopter. Others have no electricity or plumbing, while others rely on mules for mail delivery. Our first destination is Tristan da Cunha, located in the South Atlantic Ocean, boasting unique wildlife and a captivating maritime culture. Tristan da Cunha, a remote volcanic archipelago situated in the South Atlantic Ocean, is one of the most isolated inhabited places on Earth. It consists of several islands, with Tristan da Cunha being the main and largest island. This isolated paradise is known for its rugged landscapes, unique wildlife, and a close-knit community that has made this place their home for generations. Tristan da Cunha is located over 2,400 kilometers away from the nearest inhabited land, South Africa. Its remote location has shielded it from much of the outside world, resulting in an unspoiled and pristine environment. The archipelago is home to a small population of around 250 residents, making it one of the most isolated human settlements globally. The majority of the inhabitants are descendants of European settlers and have developed a distinct maritime culture. The isolation of Tristan da Cunha has allowed for the preservation of unique flora and fauna. The archipelago is a breeding ground for various seabirds, including albatrosses and penguins. The waters surrounding the islands are rich in marine life, making it a hotspot for wildlife enthusiasts and researchers. Tristan da Cunha holds historical significance as the final refuge of the HMS Bounty Mutineers and their Tahitian companions in the 18th century. The island's isolation has contributed to the preservation of its unique culture and traditions, which are still observed by the descendants today. Living in such isolation presents numerous challenges. Supplies are brought in by occasional supply ships, and the islanders rely on fishing and agriculture to sustain themselves. Communication with the outside world is limited, and access to medical care and educational resources can be challenging. The archipelago's landscapes are nothing short of breathtaking. Towering volcanic peaks, lush valleys, and pristine beaches make it a haven for nature lovers and adventure seekers. Hiking and exploring the rugged terrain are popular activities for both residents and visitors. While Tristan da Cunha remains largely untouched by mass tourism, it has recently started welcoming a limited number of visitors interested in experiencing its isolation and natural beauty. The island has strict regulations to ensure the protection of its environment and way of life. Heading north to Canada, we find Devon Island, the largest uninhabited island on Earth. Spanning over 55,000 square kilometers of polar wilderness, its isolation, extreme cold, and unique geology make it a captivating but challenging destination. Devon Island, situated in the Canadian Arctic Archipelago, is the largest uninhabited island on Earth and one of the most remote and inhospitable places on the planet. This vast, frozen wilderness is characterized by its stark beauty, extreme climate, and its role as a hub for scientific research and Arctic exploration. Located in the Arctic Ocean, separated from mainland Canada by the freezing waters of the Arctic Circle, it is isolated with no permanent human population, making it a haven for wilderness enthusiasts and scientists seeking isolation. The island's climate is Arctic, with harsh winters featuring extremely low temperatures, frequent snowstorms, and nearly continuous darkness in the polar night. Summers are short but offer a brief respite from the extreme cold, with 24-hour daylight. Despite its desolation, Devon Island boasts stark natural beauty including rugged mountains, glaciers, fjords, and extensive permafrost. Its austere landscape has earned it the nickname, Mars on Earth, and it has served as a stand-in for Mars in research related to planetary exploration. Devon Island is renowned for its role in scientific research and exploration. The Houghton Impact Crater, a meteorite impact site on the island, has been a focus of astrobiology research due to its resemblance to the Martian surface. The Arctic Mars Analog Svalbard Expedition, AMASE, is one such scientific endeavor that uses Devon Island to simulate Mars missions. Despite its harsh environment, Devon Island is home to Arctic wildlife, including muskoxen, Arctic hares, 
foxes, and various bird species. Marine mammals, such as seals and polar bears, frequent its coastal waters. While the island is uninhabited today, it holds historical significance as traditional hunting grounds for the Inuit people, who have inhabited the Arctic region for centuries. Evidence of their presence can still be found in the form of archaeological sites. Devon Island attracts a small number of adventure seekers and researchers each year who are drawn to its isolation and untouched wilderness. Activities include hiking, mountaineering, and exploring the unique polar environment. Efforts are in place to protect Devon Island's fragile ecosystems and pristine wilderness. Strict regulations and permits are required for visitors and researchers to minimize human impact. In the heart of the Grand Canyon, we discover Supai Village, one of the most remote Native American settlements in the United States. Accessible only by foot, horse, or helicopter, it's a testament to the Havasupai tribe's resilience. Supai Village, located within the Grand Canyon in Arizona, USA, is a remote and isolated Native American community known for its breathtaking natural beauty, unique way of life, and its status as the only place in the United States where mail is still delivered by mules. This village, inhabited by the Havasupai tribe, offers a captivating glimpse into a world surrounded by stunning canyons and waterfalls. Supai Village is nestled deep within the Grand Canyon, at the bottom of Havasu Canyon. It is one of the most isolated communities in the contiguous United States, surrounded by the rugged terrain and towering cliffs of the Grand Canyon. The village is the home of the Havasupai tribe, whose name means, People of the Blue-Green Water. The Havasupai have inhabited the Grand Canyon for centuries, relying on agriculture, hunting, and their deep connection to the land for their way of life. The main draw of Supai Village is its unparalleled natural beauty. The area is renowned for its stunning turquoise waterfalls, including Havasu Falls, Mooney Falls, and Beaver Falls. These waterfalls are formed by mineral-rich springs that flow through the canyon, creating a vibrant contrast with the red rock surroundings. Supai Village has become a popular destination for tourists and hikers seeking to experience the Grand Canyon's hidden gem. Visitors embark on a challenging hike or ride mules down the steep canyon trails to reach the village. Permits are required to visit, and the village has a limited capacity to protect its environment. The isolated village is famous for its unique mail delivery system. Since the village is inaccessible by road, mail is delivered by mules that traverse the rugged terrain of the Grand Canyon. This tradition has been in place for over a century and is one of the last such systems in the United States. Life here presents challenges due to its isolation. The village relies on helicopter deliveries and mules for essential supplies. The Havasupai people have faced historical challenges, including displacement and attempts at cultural assimilation. The Havasupai tribe has a rich cultural heritage, with deep spiritual connections to the land and waterfalls. Visitors have the opportunity to learn about Havasupai customs, traditions, and the importance of preserving their culture and environment. Efforts are in place to protect the Grand Canyon and the Havasu Creek ecosystem. Conservation measures include waste disposal regulations, camping restrictions, and guidelines for responsible tourism. Next, we head to the Galapagos Islands, located in the Pacific Ocean about 1,000 kilometers west of Ecuador or a renowned natural wonder and a living laboratory of evolution. This archipelago of volcanic islands is celebrated for its unique and diverse wildlife and stunning landscapes. The Galapagos Islands are at the confluence of several ocean currents, resulting in their remote and isolated location. This isolation has given rise to a remarkable array of species that evolved in relative isolation from the mainland. The Galapagos are often referred to as the Enchanted Islands, due to their extraordinary biodiversity. The archipelago is home to numerous species found nowhere else on Earth, including giant tortoises, marine iguanas, and blue-footed boobies. This unique fauna and flora have made the islands a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Galapagos Islands offer a diverse range of landscapes, from barren lava fields to lush highlands. Each island has its own distinct geology and ecosystems. 
Highlights include pristine beaches, volcanic craters, and underwater wonderlands for snorkeling and diving. The Galapagos Islands face significant environmental challenges due to tourism, invasive species, and climate change. Conservation efforts have been in place for decades to protect the ecosystems and unique wildlife. The Galapagos National Park and Marine Reserve, along with strict regulations on visitor numbers and activities, play a vital role in safeguarding the islands. Tourism is a significant industry in the Galapagos, with visitors drawn to the island's unparalleled natural beauty and wildlife. Tourists can explore the islands on guided excursions, which allow for up-close encounters with iconic species like giant tortoises, sea lions, and penguins. Sustainable tourism practices are encouraged to minimize the impact on the environment. The Galapagos have a human population primarily concentrated on four inhabited islands. These communities play a crucial role in conservation efforts and sustainable tourism. Balancing the needs of both the environment and the local population is an ongoing challenge. Socotra Island, an isolated gem in the Arabian Sea, is renowned for its otherworldly landscapes, remarkable biodiversity, and unique cultural heritage. Often described as the Galapagos of the Indian Ocean, this is a place of captivating natural beauty and biological significance. Situated approximately 240 kilometers east of the Horn of Africa and about 380 kilometers south of the Arabian Peninsula, its remote location, coupled with its unique geological history, has led to the evolution of numerous endemic species. While Socotra Island is the largest and most famous of the Socotra archipelago, the entire group comprises several smaller islands and islets. Each has its own unique natural features and is a haven for biodiversity. Socotra is a biodiversity hotspot, with a high level of endemism. Over a third of its plant species, including the iconic dragon's blood tree and the cucumber tree, are found nowhere else on Earth. Its fauna is equally diverse with unique reptiles, birds, and marine life. The island's flora is particularly extraordinary, with a wide variety of succulents, strange-looking trees, and plants adapted to its arid climate. The dragon's blood tree, with its distinctive umbrella-shaped canopy and red sap, is an iconic symbol of Socotra. Socotra has historically been a significant source of Arabian frankincense, a resin extracted from trees native to the island. This fragrant resin has been highly sought after for centuries and was once a valuable commodity in ancient trade routes. Given the ecological importance of Socotra, conservation efforts have been in place for decades. The island is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is protected by the Socotra Governance and Biodiversity Project, which aims to preserve its unique ecosystems and promote sustainable development. This natural wonder is not just a haven for biodiversity but also a place of cultural significance. The island is home to a distinct culture, with its own Socotri language and unique traditions. The people of Socotra have a deep connection to the land and have maintained their way of life for generations. Socotra has been gaining recognition as a destination for ecotourism, with visitors drawn to its natural beauty and unique landscapes. Sustainable tourism practices are encouraged to protect the environment and traditional way of life. And there you have it folks. Some of the most incredible and surprising secrets of remote paradises from around the world. These places genuinely have uniqueness, from hidden waterfalls in the heart of the Grand Canyon to simulated Mars missions in the Arctic. If you enjoyed this adventure, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating journeys to come. Share your thoughts and your favorite remote paradises in the comments below. We love hearing from our adventurous community. The world is full of surprises, so keep your sense of wonder alive. Until our next adventure together, stay curious, keep exploring, and always be ready to unveil the oddities of our incredible world.